Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another match day vlog. West Brom versus Sunderland. Normal time for kickoff, three o'clock, which I'm happy about. I do like a three o'clock kickoff on a Saturday. Don't, don't feel like we have many, really. All the games what keep getting moved, but yeah, we need to win today. The Sunderland haven't really got a lot to play for. They've got some decent players, the likes of Jack Clark, who's attracting Premier League interest. Um, interesting as well, Madja. He's, he is back, but um, he's not going to be in the squad today. Um, Corbahan said he wants him to get more game time, which could be crucial for the the playoffs if we do get them. I'm sure we will now. I think we'll win today. I think it'll be a tough game. They haven't really got a lot to play for it now. I don't even think they can get the playoffs with four games left. I think they're uh, like 13, 14 points off it, if I'm right. But Guys, I, I am a bit ill today. I've got food poisoning. <laughs> um, so... My belly is rolling at the minute, to be fair. But I've managed to still come to the game because I want to watch us play. Um, I think we'll win. 3-1 West Brom. I'm going to say Jack Clark for them. Asante. Johnston, who got uh, Player of the Month this uh, this month as well. So, well done to Mikey Johnson. Fully deserved. And I'm going to say a goal from Yukuslu as well. Liam, what do you make of it, mate? Um, I was happy with the um, winning the week. I've got a feeling... I mean, these are usually a pretty tricky side for us to play. I'm going to go... They ain't having a very good season this season. Not doing too well. Underperforming. 2-0 Albion. Goal scorers. Um, Mikey Johnson to get to. Oh, interesting. See you at the ground, guys. Come on, you baggies. <laughs> Touch. I don't know what the hell he's doing. So we're down to 10 men now. Like Liam said, second yellow in a few minutes. If he hadn't done that touch, he wouldn't be off now. So he wouldn't have had to slid in, but awful, awful red card that is. Stupid decision by him. Got a, a mountain to climb now. Uh, I hate to say it, but Asante's cost us the game here. 100% cost us the game. Alright guys, half time, 1 0 Sunderland. As soon as we got that red card, you could see it coming, you know, the, it, the, we found it difficult to break them down, to be fair. They defended really well, they've been solid. Uh, the fact their fans have been good, so fair play to them. Asante, I don't know what he's thinking, that touch when the ball's played into him is absolutely awful. I think I could have done a better touch than that, it was shocking. And then, because he made that terrible touch, he's had to lunge in for a challenge. Um, two yellow cards in, in minutes, and we're down to ten men. And I believe that that red card will cost us the game. I think they'll really uh, push on now. Um, and this was an important game for us. Uh, we needed to win, really. Um, Liam, what do you make of it? It's frustrating more than anything. I don't think we've been bad. 
Uh, defensively, I think they've been quite solid. Hard to break down. But we've been given it a go. And I did think we were going to look to win the game. It's, gonna, it's a mountain to climb now. Asante, what are you doing, man? Two yellow cards in a couple of minutes. Stupid that. I mean, I like you. Good player. But it looks like it could potentially cost us the game now, which is really important. But I still have faith that we can try and rescue at least some points out of this game. Come on, Albion, man. Hopefully we can get something, but I'm not confident. Come on, Albion. full-time 1-0 Sunderland to be fair when when we went down to 10 men and Asante made that stupid decision to go in for that tackle I mean the touch alone was so shocking um, to get two yellow cards that quickly he's let us down today massively I don't think we were particularly great before we got sent off but definitely changed the game they they were uh, solid solid at the back um, going forward they looked to threat as well with Jack Clark he, he's always a threat but First half, I think until that red card, they, they, they were getting forward Sunderland, but they didn't. There wasn't very, that quality, that finishing touch in the final third. But we were poor today. Uh, we needed a win, really. Uh, Would have cemented the playoffs pretty much. Results did go our way a little bit. I think Norwich were winning earlier. I, I haven't checked the full scores, but I know commentary uh, losing. It's just annoying because I feel like Asante has crossed us that game. Um, Fair play to Sunderland fans, they were, they were loud all game and they got the three points and they defended well. Yeah, what do you make of it? It's frustrating, bringing the late room all weekend. Um, Sante's, I like the guy, but he's cost us the game pretty much. Um, stupid decision making to get himself sent off. It's just a short space of time. Um, one more home game left now, we'll probably lose the next two. Then we'll beat Preston in the final day of the season. We'll probably take it into the final game of the season, let's put it that way, because we, we like doing things the hard way, don't we? So, see what happens. Alright guys, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, see you in the next one.